curiosity. Oh, the gods have got a special place. A special place high in the mountains where the holy men live. Special place actually not on Gazarija, but close enough. That sounds familiar. They got right. a bunch of blue skins that live up there, man. Blue skins? Blue skin holy man. I swear it. They got uh, the uh. chimes and this weird sort of singing, man. Oi, 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 oi. It's all sorts of weird. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Thanks for your time. But I, I, I could, yeah, uh, you could pay me, and I can get one of the little ones. I'll teach him the song, and he'll sing up at the gate. And you can see that there are like little children running around that apparently are his. Yeah. For where I'm going today, we got our own singer. I was just hoping for another time. Oh, you, you get me all excited, man. You leave me there hanging. Well, my apologies. If uh, ever I need to uh, do that hop thing, I will come and see you. <laughs> Of course, you come to see me, man. I'm the appointed, uh, I'm the appointed song keeper. I got all the songs. They're up here. Okay, then. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you sometime in the future, then. Haha. <laughs> remember my name, Mojo, man. Mojo. I'll remember that. Ha <laughs> You are... Altagar. Of the working for a living tribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of these, some of these lazy bastards gotta try that for a living. And he's pointing at the uh, at the hyenas, the, all the yeah. hyena folk that are lounging around, looking. Uh, bored. Sometimes it feels like we're the only ones. You know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta work hard and put the. Uh, he says some word you're not too sure on the table. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, you take care of yourself. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, man. So he thanks him and heads back to the boat. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to check on something. No, the, the merchant's patient with you. Uh, you're, you're huge. You're fucking huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you meet Mojo, the song keeper, yeah. uh, and make your way back to um, a familiar sky, a familiar wintry sky in... Uh, um, on Vosgard. Uh, the way that they get through is they open up the gate, they mm -hmm. send a sheep's bladder through. Okay. It's got something to tied to it. Alright. It goes through the gate and the gate closes. And then they wait for like 15 minutes. What are we waiting for? <laughs> you, you actually see there, uh, like some guy has a, yeah. um, uh, the merchant has a uh, um a set of scales, or a set of hour, an hourglass that he lets run out. Oh, if we uh, if we try to go through, our boat would be underwater. Oh, I get it, because that's when they that lets them know to raise the uh, gate. There are more than a few people that have tried to come through our come to our world uninvited that have drowned. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, keeps out the undesirables. Keeps our world clean, is what is what is what the uh, the merchant finally says. Right. He looks around. I guess I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, once rat folk get onto your world, there's no getting rid of them. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, they wait their amount of time and yep. then they sing to the gate and they have enough faith that they've raised the gate up in that amount of time and and they actually do go through and and you're back in the choppy waters of the uh, uh of the river <clears throat> okay uh, he, he does what he can he has no ranks in profession sailor i was gonna take ranks but then I got a temple. <laughs> right. But he helps out as best he can. <laughs> okay. So uh, so Altagar um, um, Altagar has, has spent some time uh, going to Barter Town um, and seeing what that's about. Uh, Harvest thanks you for, and, and says anytime you need a uh, um, anytime you need a a a ride <laughs> a ride and if they're going um, you you've got a you've got a place. I appreciate that. I just might take you up on that. <laughs> and next time, don't worry about making room for me. I can hang off the back. It's not that long a ride. 
<laughs> All right. He, he laughs at that. Uh, and then you met Mojo the Songkeeper. Now we have to have continuous contact with Mojo the Songkeeper just to make you keep doing that accent. <laughs> Yaman. <laughs> Yaman. Yeah, so all he replies with Yaman. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you say, man. <laughs> don't, don't you press this on me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other guy with the beard. Got nothing to do with it. Okay. Um, and you learn about the Jackal King. Yes. Cool. Who runs Barter Town? <laughs> yep. And that's how you build worlds on the fly, everyone. Uh, all right. Um, the, the party, I guess, hears that you went off world. And they're excited when you return. <laughs> Oberon and, and uh, uh, Lemmy are finished their researching. And everyone is congregated once again at uh, uh, at the drinking hall. Okay. Well, there he I... is. Hey, sorry, I was looking for one of them uh, rod things. We found one. Oh, good. Uh, Uka, by the way, I might have found a way to uh, your home place. Ooh. I mean... <laughs> Gazarija. Yeah, there's a guy on the other side of uh, on Bar at Bada Town who can get us to a place that can get us to your home. <laughs> so apparently, if he brings us to some holy place full of blue people, that would be interesting. <laughs> and then they get us to your home. <laughs> uh, blue people. Uh, yes, is what he says. I'm just going to go to the sandbox for a second. Hey, I've met one of them. There's the one, uh, what's her name? She's one of the guards for the nuns. Or priestesses. No, no, no. These are, um, Samsaran. Holy race. Um, you didn't say who they were. You just said they can get you home. They live in uh, such a loca. It is a uh, holy valley, Mount really? Maru. Mm. Yeah, they said they, they was up on a mountain. Yeah. They have Songate. Apparently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they have uh, strange singers, throat singers. Yeah, so it's like, oh, 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 oh. that's what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, is what he says. Uh, thanks. <laughs> we will, uh, we will eat, we will eat good when we get to Gazarija. Proper food. Yeah, all right, I might break my fast for a good friend, I suppose. <laughs> You're fasting? Yeah. I haven't eaten since uh, oh, that uh, night we got really drunk. <laughs> Mind over matter, like I said. Uh, Oberon's like politely listening, but you could tell that he wants to get to something else, but he's not mentioning it because he's trying to be really polite. <laughs> Oberon, I'm curious to hear what you have to say about what has happened in the last few days. <laughs> ah, yes, Elder. Um, uh, congratulations on uh, going to another world. Uh, yes, uh, it was is, very exciting. Um, feel free to, to, to tell us more about it. Uh, I'm very interested in hearing about other worlds. But yes, um, more to this. Uh, I do have a spell that will allow us to um, uh, share memories. Uh, combined with the rod, we should be able to get to another place. Now, of course, we're going to appear anywhere from a mile to uh, a few miles to 500 miles away from the spot that we designate. But at least this will be relatively close. You call 500 miles relatively close? Compared to that of an entire world, yes, I do. I suppose that is a uh, 
that is an accurate statement then when you are making that particular I'll prepare, comparison. Uh, <laughs> I'll, prepare, I'll prepare some spells to make sure that um, we have an easy time when we try this. But, but this, this share memory spell, I, Oberon's excited now. I sh you should be able to share a memory with myself. Uh, does it allow him to cast on other people? Or let's just see. Uh, you, and, you and one creature touched, so Oberon has to be the one that's the center of this. Well, he's a teleporter, so that's all right. Hey, I got a question for you. Yes. Um, and, and maybe this is just, you know, my ignorance of the uh, world of magic, but you're kind of like split in two, right? I mean, I, don't cry. Don't cry. We all love you. Don't cry. You're kind of like split in two, right? Yes, our essence is gone. Um, there isn't a mean bone in my body any longer. And we are all terribly grateful for that and wish nothing but the best for you. That being you said... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, there are tears welling up in his eyes. <laughs> um, if we share memories with you... Is it possible because you're both part of the same person? You might get mem you could get memories from that other guy. What a dreadful thought. Um, that being said, dreadful as it may be, it might give us some insight into what they're doing. Well, I've thought about my other self many times before, almost daily. Um, well, almost every waking moment, the the, the thoughts drag there. I have not learned anything from him. Is it possible you might learn from you? I hope not. Perhaps we are separate beings from the moment that we were separated. But if you were recombined? Well, theoretically, we would become the same entity again. And one would hope that our memories would remain intact. Although, to think of what some other person might be doing and then have to live with... Oh, I, I don't know if I want to be rejoined. It is a good thing, Aldegar. It is a very good thing that I did. Getting rid of all of my, my evil. Of course it is. He you taps I, him on the shoulder. <laughs> you and I should, should talk about this again if we ever come across the tear. He nods like he's trying to convince you. He knows <laughs> the others have actually shut him down every time he yeah. mentions it, but Altigar's new. Yeah. Yeah, okay, another time. First, I guess we'll get this jumping around thing sorted out. That is a really interesting thought. We would know so much about our enemies. I'm not sure that that's such a great idea. We might learn many things, but Oberon would surely suffer. I, I have no desire to reconnect with my part. Can't we just leave it alone? It depends what it's been up to. I... O Oberon seems to be very distraught at this line of thinking. I, Oberon, we're not even thinking about that right now. We've got this whole other thing to do. <laughs> yes, well, the share memory spell, I should be able to learn about places from Galith's memories. Uh, at first, it will be an anchor for us to plan a gate to, and then, and then perhaps even a teleportation spot. Where is it that you want to go on now, Prince? I think Vontal Stone might be best. It is the place I remember the most. Vontal Stone? What is that? It is a small town I grew up in. Barely more than a little village. It was there I was trained as a as a knight. Hmm. Yes. Likely, hopefully, it is untouched and will be. S s step forward, Galith. I'm prepared to cast the spells now. All right, Gallus steps forward. Think of a spot in, in Vontalstone that you're very familiar with. Think of a, a place. He's going to think about the little shrine to the water they had there. Okay. 
and do not resist as he touches his finger to your forehead. Gal's okay with that. Okay, you actually feel the memory being shared? It's actually the specific memory is the that moment of of, um, of revelation when he was praying. Okay. Um, you can show the target one of your memories. Um, uh, one minute, I believe, is the time. You can show the target one of your memories, show the target one of its own memories, or view one of the target's memories. So it's going to view the memory that you're choosing, uh, and then you don't resist. Right. So uh, it works. You found faith there. Oberon's got tears streaming down his face. What a wonderful memory. You were so relieved that the religious exultation the awe the power yes yes it was when I took my first steps on the silver path it is like he chose you they say that priests choose their gods but gods choose their palatines did you get what you need yes I I think I could hone in to Vontalstone. While we will not appear there, um, I should be able to teleport there as well. Although, the teleportation may be risky, he says. We may end up in some other place. Basically, he's saying that he's only going to get the viewed once. Uh, uh, a bonus, yeah. yeah. Or, uh, what we could do is two other things. We could use find the path to get to um, good know the direction and then uh, use wind walk to get there fast now how am I going to cast plane shift <laughs> we have the rod that you've created for us from my effects oh maybe if I cast share memory on myself and share Galith's beautiful moment with his god, with Lemmy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Lemmy? Oh, he's, uh... That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> oh, it just, I, I just had this thought of, like, this priesthood capturing the memory of some great event and just passing the memory down throughout the ages. <laughs> yeah, a previous character I played discovered the spell and made great use of it, so it's pretty fun. Um, so I guess with each telling the interpretations a little bit off, so he casts share memory on you, Lemmy, and he shares the minute of him um, he you get a photocopy of the photocopy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like his memory of the memory. He, he um he was looking forward to to like learning about his friend Galith and he thought it was so special that that he chose that particular memory and then he he, he obviously remembers feeling really um um proud of his friend you're catching details of, of like what you saw, but you're also getting a lot of uh, Oberon's very, very uh, nice emotions ar around the event. Um, his you, commentary. <laughs> yeah, his commentary, I'm and so and and you also know that Oberon hopes that um, um, this will make Galath and Oberon um, stronger friends by him learning more about Galath in that way. Jesus, he's gonna come after us while we're sleeping, isn't he? <laughs> there was you do get enough that you should be able to target that spot with the spell, and he gives you the planner rod. Um However, there was just the okay. trailing end of a thought, kinda of just kinda of below Oberon's immediate um um, it's almost like a bit of his subconscious. Perhaps then they'll listen to me, is really what 
the feeling. It's almost like the feeling that came from them. Mm, don't bet your arse on it, Oberon. <laughs> Pardon? Is what he says. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> good job, good job, excellent work. <laughs> oh, yes, well, yes. Like, underneath all thy goodness, there's still this insidious sort of... I have to get them to join my cult, and then they'll <laughs> love me more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so Oberon shares the memory of him sharing the memory of Galath's uh, conversion to um, uh, uh, to Nawada Silverhand. Now that it leaves the last thing, and then uh, Lokrik puts down a rod that looks like it's got two hammers on on either ends. This will bring us. I am told to the footsteps. Of Mount Klangadin. On the first layer of Arcadia. <laughs> Alright, where exactly is that? <laughs> Arcadia is the land of perfection. It is where laws are made for the common good in a plane of harmony. It is the home of Archons. Azamar, nice. Divas, <laughs> and then even some of the Einhuriar live there. Mount Klangadin. I never thought I would be able to see such a thing. Again, with this with this rod, we need a specific spot to target. Um, perhaps you can describe it. If if there's some kind of painting or sculpture or visage that I could use, might be help us. I only know that this came with us from Crucible. If that helps. Not really. Only uh, like over on side, we need a place to, to actually visualize, place to get to get to target. Well, that doesn't help. I don't think any of the priests and folk that are in Dvergholm have actually been there. Mm, but others might have. Might find something around that could. Uh, like we said, a sculpture, or, or a painting, perhaps. It's good to keep around there. Okay, over. Uh, Lokrik will add that to a sheet that he's got a planar rod to uh, the first layer of Arcadia. We could just, couldn't we just try? For some reason, we wouldn't. Planar rod, Arcadia, first layer, which is called. Uh, Abelio? Are you sure this planar rod of Celestia is supposed to be made of abyssal steel? Oh yes, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> yeah, let me just make sure. Plane plane shift. I think you have to designate where you go. And then you would scatter within 5D100 or something like that. Uh, 
Um, from the material plane, you can reach any other plane, though you appear five to five hundred miles from your intended destination. I want to go to my house. Okay. So, so how now the intended destination? Even if I've never been there, I could say for like the you know castle of. Uh, yeah, well, he actually knows the location, so he knows Mount Clangadin is his location. Um, In theory, yes, possible. you could you could specify a known location without having to see it. I think. Yeah. It's not teleport. You're like, I want to go to the Emperor's Palace, Jade Palace, on blah. Or the sure. Uh, it, it it it's probably best that you've been there or you've seen it. Um. Lokrik, actually, when, when uh, Lemio says, uh, uh, do you have any drawings or, or like, sculptures, he, he actually will roll a bardic knowledge check to see if there is something that he could use. Uh, we'll make this a knowledge religion or a knowledge planes. Lokrik will choose knowledge. Uh, it's the same. It's the same roll. So he'll take 20 with his Bardic Knowledge check, which is a 31. Uh, come to think of it, I think there might actually be artwork in the library at Dvergholm that depicts Mount Clangadin. A place of laws and goodness likely hasn't changed much, and maybe that is the purpose of such artwork, to inspire as well as to give someone a reference point. We will we will go from Dvergholm to the Mount of Clangadin, and then to Nalbrin, I suppose. Agreed. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, so the next that day, you spend uh, time. Uh, Teleporting. To well, I, I, I could Alvin. just spend a mythic point and just get ready to go. Okay, so Birch the second. Um, Lokrik, yeah, you teleport to Dvergholm. Lokrik finds the library, and yeah, there is a mural that depicts uh, a, a vast plain before what looks like a perfectly conical mountain uh, standing apart from a mountain range. Um, And the mountain seems to have a, a single, very large entrance to it. That is the spot, Lemmy. That is Mount Clangy. All right. <coughs> cone. Are you there, Ahmed, or? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, the, you, if I don't respond, it's because I didn't hear the last three seconds where you meant. I was listening to you, and then it cut out. I'm like, okay, I don't need anything. All I heard was shaped like a cone. Yep, that's what Oberon said. So what? Um, right. What are you doing? All right. Um, well, I'll, uh, I assumed you were traveling, so I prepared my spells for that. Um, okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. Um, We'll have to hold hands, and we'll. I'm just gonna take just us. All right. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's gonna be on the other side. So, you know, until we until we've become more familiar with this, we'll just have to do it like this for now. So it'll be just us, um, and cast some preparation spells to protect us from the from whatever is okay. on the other side. Can you define just us? Um, oh, sorry. Um, well, the heroes. Is, just us. Are, are you just bringing the, the paladin's horse with him? Um, Galath, can you turn it into a uh, little animal again and okay. then statue it? Okay. Done. Yep. So you use a spell, I guess. Is that is that what? Yeah, it's called Gal Harry Galath. Use that. Okay. Um, so it is just the six of you. Yeah. With a cool little eight-legged horse statue. Right. Maybe I can add some more legs. I've got craft sculpting. 
All right, so um, so this spell. You're cutting out, Ahmed. It's like he only cuts out when he's talking. Fire speed. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we, this spell, and then you. That's all we heard. Oh, sorry. Uh, this spell um, called um, uh, Windwalk. It'll allow you to turn into into a, into a gas and travel very fast. All right, um, Obron. I'll need you to cast a spell that let us communicate without making sound, because we won't have our voices when we're in gas form. Um, telepathic bond doesn't last very long. Ten minutes per level? Pretty Sorry, telepathic bond lasts for how long? Ten minutes per level. Alright, this this spell will last for an hour. Two hours. Because there's, there's uh, two hours. It'll last for two hours. So we'll have to recast it at some point. Recast the message spell at, at another point. Alright? I, I can cast them, yes. Is what he says. Alright. Alright, perfect. Uh, the next thing that we'll do is... Um, um, we'll have that spell... I'll put also um, life bubble on all of us. This will make sure that, um, you know, if there's anything strange on the other side, it might it might harm us, like gas or something. It wouldn't wouldn't affect us. I do not think uh, next to Klangadin's mountain we have to worry about gas. Is this look like? Um, I. It'll, uh, we might not appear there. Hmm. We might appear somewhere else. That's a good point. <laughs> 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 Arcadia's gas chamber. <laughs> oh, no, no this idea is where we put the unhappy people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay, let's not go there. Um, <clears throat> so I'll also give everyone uh, water breathing. Okay. So life bubble, water breathing, wind walk. Lo uh, Oberon will Plainer put up the... Uh, oh, I can't give you that. Can't do that yet. Locric will... Um, uh, so sorry, if you Oberon know anything about the planes... Planner adaptation is probably not necessary for heaven. Telepathic <laughs> bond will go up. Um. Yep. Um, Mark, can you, can you roll a percentile, please? Yep. Hey, what's going on here? Hmm. Don't fuck it up. Oh, that's what happened. I moved my thing. There we go. Hundred. Seventy-six. Okay. I could work with eight. Okay, so there's a bunch of spells being cast. And then what? Uh, now we're going to do the uh, plane shift. See how that goes. Okay. You can do what? Eight people? Plane shift gives me. Give me a sec. Let me read that. Uh, creature touched up to eight willing creatures. Yep. Okay. So uh, everyone links hands. And uh, uh, Lemio takes the, uh, the rod with the, the two hammers on the end of it and uh, begins to cast the spell, thinking of, of Mount Clangadin. Give me. Um, uh, 5d100. Oh. This is this is Ahmed's roll. Yep, 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 I'm doing it. Or find you find us a new druid. <laughs> not too bad, 185. Yeah, it's not terrible. <clears throat> That's not bad at all, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mount Klangadin is indeed a perfectly conical mountain, standing apart from a mountain range that is kind of in the background. It rises at least 30,000 feet above the fields below, oh. with, with its weathered peak in the clouds uh, um, that have rolling storms. Uh, the place is spectacular and uh, breathtaking. Those that are 
chaotic. Are all... It's just like your armor chafes a little bit and you kind of feel like you're being watched when maybe <clears throat> you're not. Um, those that are lawful find this place pleasant. It looks like um, the forests and fields are orderly, uh, plentiful, and there are people in these uh, in these um, uh, good sized orderly li little villages that are at the at the base of the mountain um, the sun is bright in the sky everything seems to be lush the sun is square <laughs> the sun is square with a big happy face <laughs> in it no it's not square <laughs> ah it is more than looking down upon us all <laughs> and while you tried to appear at the base of the foot of the mountain 185 miles away compared to a 30,000 foot mountain on a clear on a clear blue sky day uh, you are still able to uh, uh, you're still able to see it there is an orb in the sky that looks like a sun um, and you you get the sense that the 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 people that are around the mountains and living in the villages are mostly dwarves. Landing with a whoosh in front of you onto a rocky outcropping is a large um, green-skinned woman with big plush wings. Uh, and you can give me a knowledge planes. Let me... <laughs> So for, for reference, Mount Everest is slightly shorter than a 30,000-foot mountain. Well, aren't we glad we have life bubble? At least you are. <laughs> um, you could see over 211 miles from the top. So, yeah. Y yeah. It's big. It's big. Okay, knowledge planes as you're being confronted and... Uh, Challenged by some angelic being. Oh man, everything's slow. Come on, D20, please. Uh, Try the other website, the, the, the just the, the Pathfinder SRD that Paizo has. It's not as complete and it's not as searchable, but it's it has the same information. Yeah, I'm just getting spinny. Fine. I will use the book. Most of the Pathfinder books. It's a rare thing that I have to crack them open, though. Since we started playing remotely all those years ago. <laughs> oh, crap, I have to go analog. What is this? <laughs> okay, uh, the Knowledge Planes was what? Looks uh, like a 25. Okay, yeah. this is an angelic being, Lemio. It's called a Planetar. In spell. Is my hat reacting to this? Um, it actually says hello <laughs> in <laughs> Celestial. Hello. Galv is going to take a knee. This is obviously a holy being of importance. Okay, Oberon takes his cue from. Uh, hey, Firefox. Uh, Oberon takes his cue from Galath and, and gets down on one knee. Uh, so does Altagar. <laughs> Okay. When your king kneels, you kneel. <laughs> even even Lokrit gets on gets on one knee as well. Um, <clears throat> so so does Lemmy. Lokrit does a deep bow. <laughs> we apologize for our sudden appearance. Know that we come in the spirit of law and good, and are merely passing through. I 
I was more curious than anything. Such strange visitors to the steps of the mountain. I was merely on patrol and saw that you arrived. Is everything all right? Yes. We passed through here to return to the material plane to a different world. Oh, maybe we could linger for a moment or two. Don't be hasty, says Lurkrick. Yes. yes. You are still mortals. This place is a place for petitioners. Those that have come after their works upon the mortal realm and after they have shuffled off the mortal coil have come to this paradise. Don't be right to seek our reward before the end of our days. Does anything vex thee? Is there something that I can do for you while you are here? Um, I have a question. Unless you can restore our friend Oberon's soul, then there is nothing. I have a question. Do you know if there's a path to Yggdrasil from here? She's looking very closely at, at Oberon now when you say that. Yes, there is something wrong with him. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I, I swear. This is Oberon, he's kind of blubbering while sort of like full out prostrating himself in, in front of the angel. I know not what to do with this one. I could bring him before the council of planetars that is here. Would it be your wish, Oberon? I, I don't These want... only beings help restore you. I, 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 I'm okay, is what he's saying. It doesn't sound like he wishes to go. No. So if he does not wish to go, we cannot make him. Yes. Perhaps you have much to do still. Do linger for a while. Just a mile down the road, there is a way stop. They are not unaccustomed to dealing with those who are not petitioners. Um, could I ask for your request? We shall stay a little while. <clears throat> um, could I ask you for a bit of guidance? Yes, you ask about Yggdrasil. Correct. Uh, let me see. Planes are infinite. Let's just see if she's got the skills for this. Q. Knowledge planes, plus 26. Sweet. Yes. Yggdrasil does grow into Arcadia. But it is a place that is difficult to traverse. It uh, wouldn't be that difficult for us. Uh, but I, do you, could you just point out the direction and perhaps the distance? It would be very easy for us to get to. Um, Lemmy does not want to go there right now. He just wants to know as a point of reference. The pathway to Yggdrasil is in the middle of the hive city called Mandible. Why is it called the hive city and why do they call it Mandible? 
sorry. The goodly beings of the Formian race. Use Yggdrasil to spread their kind across the multiverse. They guard it. And, on <coughs> and only those queens of the Formians that we deem friendly know that are deemed good enough dwell here in Arcadia. <clears throat> there are others, however, that have mind of metal and destruction. Mm -hmm. You would have to deal with the queen to pass unto Yggdrasil. I am sorry that I cannot do more for you. As for, no, that's, that's as fine. for Thank distance... You. Mandible is in that direction, she points out into the plains. Like, flat plains as opposed to... <coughs> yeah. Uh, does Lemmy understand what she's talking about? Mandible's queen... <laughs> Sorry, um, I gotta take a bio break and die in here. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll take one too. Use a, bo uh, use a bottle. Uh, do, oh. do you remember encountering the, the bug people? Yeah. Yes, the bug and the bee people. Yep. Yeah, uh, I do. The ant people are the are Formians. You've encountered them before. Right. So this is where they came from. Or this is where some of them are. Yep. They're not able to get through Yig, though. <laughs> They, they might be Trust going to me. a different branch of, uh, of Yig or a different spot, but yeah. Hmm. I have to destroy it too. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll wage war in the heavens to destroy the, uh, the evil ant folk. Um, okay. Um, Eric, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything we can do for you? If you are to travel to Mandible, you should do so with spell. Know that Arcadia stretches forever in all directions. Hmm. It's got the planner trait of Thank infinite you. size. <laughs> the way there should be clear. There are signposts and others like me who can tell you which way to go. Well, I much appreciate it. My name is Lemmy. Uh, of Yggdrasil. She smiles at you. I am Paxia. Mm, pleasure to meet you, Paxia. I hope that can we we can meet again at some other point in the future. I don't know. There are also portals that link places together. There might be a portal to the city of Mandible, I believe, further up the mountains. Fascinating. Oh, here's a question. Do you know if there's a sun gate to here? She doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Right. Uh, no worries. It's, it's just, that's another thing. I really appreciate your, 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 your help. Thank Song you. gates. Ah. No, they are a phenomena of the prime material. Hmm. Do you know anything about the song gates? Like how to find them? I remember of the song gates is that an ancient race created them long long ago right. that they seeded many worlds with them do you know where we could find a list of these worlds no okay the ancient race is now come and gone they encountered things that well 
and no one knows where they went. There are none Understood. of them here, she says. I have never met one. Understood. Well, the reason I ask for all these questions is we're... We're... Uh, we try to help the worlds rid them of evil. You know, all the chaos they bring. So, that's why... That's why I ask. We're trying to head to Nelburn now to help my friend. And then to Gazarija to help Uker. And then to Yig to stop the giants. I trust you, that's why I tell you these things. And I, again, I appreciate your help. I look forward to hearing your tales, whether in this life or your after one. I guess we all smile. <laughs> Hopefully we get a lot of good tales. And I Hopefully. suspect you will be returning here on your travels. This is your first jaunt, is it not? Correct. What an excellent place to pick. I feel blessed. Well, thank you. Sorry, put my hand on Lokrik's shoulders. Like, yep. Best choice, best choice that, that that I could ever have come up with. Finds a king, king to make this decision, right? Yes. Look at this mountain. I almost cannot see it through the the wet of my eyes. It is the place where I will go. It's the place Excellent. where I will go. Not yet, my friend. Still have many things to do. Mm. Let us go to Nalbrun and speak to these people and help Galath. What exactly are we doing there? Are you taking the piss? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not too sure what they're doing. Uh, I do need to take a bio uh, break as well. Okay, uh, as you okay. guys, <clears throat> I, I'm gonna leave her um, some uh, a jar of uh, of the the je the uh, what's it called? The peanut butter. <laughs> okay, that you got from Yig. Yeah. She looks yeah. at it curiously. This is from Yig Drysdale. Um, it's a type of peanut flavor. Okay, you describe to her what peanut butter is. She she, yeah. ex she accepts your gift. Yeah. And I say, fare thee well. Hope to see you again. Paxia, remember my name. Paxia. That I'm is, you. That is my gift to you. He bows. And he stabs her. <laughs> do, 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 you, do, you, no, no. do you know what Paxi. she means by that? Um, maybe I can call her or summon her later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're on the. Sorry, sorry. Planer ally, I assume. Mm hmm. Yeah. She actually yeah, shows somewhere. you, like, like, like she tilts her blade off to the side. And like these runes, kind of in celestial, kind of like glow along the side of her blade, and actually says her name. Like she, she's teaching you like how it's written, how to say it. Okay, <clears throat> how, how how do I spell that? Uh, her token has her name on it. P A X I A. Okay, cool. Oh. Um. It's like Max, yeah. Damn it, Mark's thing keeps uh. It doesn't allow me to write. I, I, I honestly okay, don't go, I go, go, go. Yeah, I have no, I have never seen this before. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'll wait for you guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, go for a quick bio break, uh, interact with people on the stream or whatever. Yeah, we'll do. Woohoo, new planar ally. <laughs> Sweet. <clears throat> My voice is low because I got people sleeping around me like kids. Shh, nobody wake them. 
Apex, yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright, so everyone's got to take a piss, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Can you see Alright, what else we got here? So we're going to jump to Nalbur and go basically beat the crap out of his brother. <laughs> be awesome. Hmm, John, are you there? Ew, Johnny boy. Now, burn. The pipes, the pipes are coming. Yeah, I, I can hear you. I was just in the other room. Um, I thought the point of going to Nalbern was to go to Yig from Nalbern, but I guess maybe we'll do some stuff in Nalbern first. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go flip. Let's sink some ships. Well, I think it would be better if we actually like figured out what the fuck was going on, but. Um. And we got the name of a of a planetar. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing something actually. Yeah. I'm thinking of leaving the nut to be Yig with her. <laughs> Why? Because that way I can cast my um, find the path. <laughs> to oh, Yig. I see what you're saying. And then if I ever need it, you can, can summon just, her and she'll have I can it. Just <laughs> summon her and she'll have it. Exactly. That's a terrible idea at all, actually. It's actually a really good idea. Um, it also means that the nut to Yig is safe. I doubt anyone's going to show up in fucking Arcadia and steal it. True. True. Just like, leave it with her, though. Easiest, because, um... Yeah. Can't have that lying around on the ground like it rains. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yig and New World. Oh, dude, I, I, I got the, uh... Wine and Blood expansion for uh, Witcher 3. Oh, is it good? Oh, it's so sexy. The <laughs> song is like, hard, isn't it? is like Camelot, France, Italy. It's great. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, good. it's super fun. It's like knights everywhere and like wine and nobles and tournaments and chivalry and giants. It's great, it's great stuff. Nice. Giants? Ooh. Yeah. Mm hmm. M Marty, Marty's back. Marty, I have an idea. Yes. I'm gonna give Paxia something that she can hold on to me. I hope. I'll hold on. For you. And you're talking in. That's what he's trying to say. Okay, he's there we go. Hi, you there? Yes. All right. I'm gonna give Paxia the uh, nut that uh, allows me to grow a path into Yig. Now, question, if I give it to her and then summon her as a planar ally, would you be able to bring it to me? Uh, give me a spellcraft. Okay, I'll spellcraft this. Oops. <sighs> spellcraft, sorry, my list is, my sheet is huge. Plus 18. <laughs> so so the issue with Mark's screen is it keep thirty five is it keeps taking a focus. Um anyway, it's thirty five is my role. Thirty five. Okay, so if she has it on her when she summoned, then yes. Okay, then I can summon her, ask her to bring it, or just message her, ask her to bring it, and then summon her. Awesome. Okay, then ask her, can I leave this with you for safekeeping? There's this... Mm, Praxia. She, she looks at you like she's curious about what it is. I will explain to you what this is. This is one of my most important uh, possessions. It... This 